Hey guys, so Keffel's just made the very poor choice to invite people onto her stream to refute the claims that she made about the Holodomor being a genocide. And it's once again a great doozy. She pretty much just outs herself again as a massive liar, and I'm going to show you exactly how. Let's get right down to the clip where she was confronted about what she said about me. She claimed that I was a genocidal Stalinist who supports Stalin's genocide and ethnic cleansing. Let me show you the clip of that first. I bring receipts. She never does. She basically relies on her audience being too stupid to actually seek out the facts and just accepting whatever she says as if it's it, it's like the default truth no matter what. Listen. If you go onto Bad Empanada's channel, one of his most popular videos is him defending Stalin's mass murder and ethnic cleansing and genocide. Okay. Let's go to Bad Empanada's channel. Let's sort by popular. Well, this is the eighth most popular video on my channel, but it's also the only one that's actually about Stalin. So this must have been what she's talking about. Let's click it. So this is a video about the Holodomor genocide question. It goes over the scholarship on the question of whether the Holodomor was a target of genocide of Ukrainians or not. And I end the video like this. Even if the famine was not a genocide, it was still a massive failure of policy, and the government reacted with more concern for its self-image than for the people who were dying en masse. This is not at all something unique to Stalin or the USSR. Governments in general love to cover up and downplay events that are inconvenient for them. But it happened nonetheless, and it's impossible for such a massive human disaster not to be attributable to the authorities who oversaw it, and especially not the ultimate authority, in this case, Stalin. The fact of the matter is that Stalin heavily deviated from principles formed by Lenin and earlier Bolsheviks regarding the autonomy of peasants and of nationalities, with disastrous effect demonstrated by this famine along with many other things, such as Lysenkoism, the deportation of the Crimean Tatars, and the reversal of Lenin's cultural and language policies, which were designed to foster each Soviet Republic's unique identity. Compared to other Soviet leaders, Stalin was uniquely brutal in ways which were not just completely unnecessary for the economic and social development of the USSR, but also just actively detrimental to it. So under no circumstances can his crimes be justified as simply being for the greater good. Okay. So that has to be what she's referring to, because it's the only video I've ever made about Stalin. That has to be what she was addressing. So she just plain lied about that, because, you know, it basically pays in the circles that she's now a part of to be like, this person, tanky Stalin, tanky Stalin, Stalin, bad, bad, tanky. So she was confronted live about this and asked to justify what she was saying. By, it wasn't by me because she would never, ever, ever make the mistake of talking to me live about something that actually depends on her showing hard evidence to prove her claims. Do you think someone who just plays video games and says whatever two-bit dumb shit comes to mind is capable of talking to me about a historical question that I'm intimately knowledgeable on? Obviously not. Anyway, let's see what she says. People keep going back to Ukraine. I never mentioned Ukraine. I never mentioned the Holodomor. You lying fucking weasel. My only video on Stalin is on Ukraine and the Holodomor, so that has to be what you're referring to. Or you, were you just completely making shit up? Those are the only two options, and both of them involve you being a lying piece of shit snake. Very simple. Bad Empanada's vi video was about the Ukraine. He has one video about Stalin, I think, about you. So, yeah. I mean... Yeah, bad unless, unless there's a secret bad empanada video that we don't know. Oh. He's talking about the Ukraine. Okay. Well, I mean, I've talked to him privately. We've been friends for years. Like, I That's a lie. This way that she keeps claiming that people who were never her friend were her friend is honestly just fucking creepy. Honestly, what the fuck is wrong with you there? I know that um, he defends a lot of what Stalin does more than he's willing to say publicly because... Oh, you, you know that? Let me leak the logs, Keffels. Let me leak the, every log from the second that we became so-called friends. Let's do that. Okay. Stalin. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's that? Zero results. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Just for good measure, let's scroll through them all. Let's scroll through all of the logs. Anyone see any mention of Stalin? Anyone see any, any mention of Stalin? And the only times that I've ever spoken to her on voice, they were on either her stream or on my stream or both. So it's all public. I've never talked to her over voice in private. Oh shit. Check out all, all the times that I told her about my secret views on Stalin. In our very long friendship, we've been friends for so long, according to her, 
aka we exchange two or three messages like once every two months. For her, that's a friendship. Where's the Stalin, Keffels? Where's any discussion of Stalin or my secret views on Stalin that you claim there? Oh shit, it's not there? Wow, lying snake. She will say anything for clout. Absolutely anything to attack the people who the people that she's trying to suck up to don't like. She will gladly destroy what she calls friendships with other creators just for the sake of getting more clout with the fans of bigger creators who don't like them. That's who she is. If you want to talk about someone liking Stalin, there is more evidence for Keffels having been a massive lover of Stalin than there ever is for me. Let's just fucking show you. Oh shit, what's this photo, Keffels? Who's that in the background? Joseph Stalin. Oh no, what's that? What's that book? Fraud, Famine and Fascism by Douglas Tuttle, a book that specifically claims that the Holodomor genocide idea was created by the Nazis. Shit, what's that? Who's that? Is that you? Oh wow. It would be a bit weird if she's projecting her views onto her previous views onto me by lying about supposed private conversations we had that we never had. Wouldn't it, Keffels? You lying snake piece of shit. He defends a lot of what Stalin does more than he's willing to say publicly because it's an optics nightmare. Oh, but well, let's talk about Ukraine. European Why would I talk about Ukraine? Because I've never... Why would you talk about Ukraine? Because you made a claim about my video, which was specifically about the Holodomor genocide question being the question of whether the Holodomor was an intentional target of genocide of Ukrainians. And that's why you would talk about Ukraine. You lied about my video. You lied about it. And in order to try and justify it, you're, you're trying to shift the topic to something else being Stalinist ethnic deportations, which is not what my video was about. You made the claim about me. You specifically made the claim about my video. Should I play the clip again to remind you for good measure sure why not let's do it empanada's channel one of his most popular videos is him defending stalin's mass murder and ethnic cleansing and genocide look at the fucking smirk on her face as she says this she's borderline laughing she knew it was a lie and now she's backed him to a corner because she has to defend the lie by deflecting and pretending she was talking about something else but if you look at my channel you look at the videos on my channel about Stalin, there is one. It's specifically about the Holodomor. So obviously it was about Ukraine, it was about the Holodomor. That's why you're being asked about it, you lying snake. You pathetic lying snake. Talentless, unemployable, lying snake. All that you can do is stream drama. All that you can do is chat with random people on Twitter, you know, with sophistry providing zero evidence for any of your claims while you play fucking video games. And let me just take a second here to talk about these streamers. They are totally screwed. In a couple of years, they're totally screwed because what they rely on is basically exploiting a very niche group of teenagers to early 20s people who are basically haven't even started their lives yet. They all, most of them have pretty much no life whatsoever. So they need like a parasocial streamer and that community to attach themselves to. And she relies on people like that basically stealing their mother's credit card and donating their money to her. That's where her income comes from. It is incredibly exploitative. You know, you watch my channel, it's because I make videos that talk about specific topics. I refute bad political and historical arguments. I make original historical and political arguments. And I back them up with exhaustive evidence. What does Keffels do? She sits there playing video games or talking to her chat and starting drama with whoever the fuck she can manage so that the young people who she's misleading into thinking that she's their friend rather than someone just taking money from them can uncritically defend her no matter what. It's a total joke. These streamers that days are numbered. What are you going to do when you're like 35 years old and the completely esoteric videos that you make about streamer drama can't pull in any more new viewers because no one fucking knows what they're about. No one understands it and you don't actually cover any topic topics of any consequence or meaning that someone who just happens upon your videos would even remotely understand. It's not going to happen. Anyway, so yeah, that's her lying again. Let's watch how this video ends. Watch how it goes. It ends with her basically running away. Brought up Ukraine okay. in any of my positions. You were talking about on your channel, on your channel, you were talking yes. about his video on me. You were talking about that video and in that video explicitly that he was defending genocide and mass murder. You said in your clip, Mm -hmm. clip that Ruka posted, Twitter user Ruka, Twitter user she Stalin, then QRT'd, and then you QRT would say it's called Guru. You said the video, the clip of you speaking was you saying right. committed genocide and mass murder in Ukraine. 
ethnic cleansing. I never so said the words. I never said. Oh, you lying piece of shit! We can all see that you reference my one video on Stalin, which you claim defended ethnic cleansing and genocide. You lying piece of shit! Can you imagine her trying to talk to me about the Holodomor on her stream? Can you imagine someone walking around in a video game while I like actually cite the sources that I have memorized on the topic? <laughs> This is why, you know, instead of coming to me to talk about this topic, you know, the person directly who this, who this is directly relevant to and who she knows knows about it, she sought out like random 20 follower Twitter accounts because she knows she cannot hang. She knows she's not intelligent enough. She knows she's not capable of actually defending the things that she believes because she doesn't know why she believes them. Well, I know why she believes them. It's because it pays more. That's why her views change. Her views completely change and de-radicalize the second that she got an itty bit of 50 minutes of fame in the mainstream media. That's what it's all about. But the words Ukraine, I was not talking about Ukraine. Lying piece of shit. Okay. All right, will you just be able to give me a sec? Okay. This is where she, she bails out. She was just looking for an excuse to bail because she knows that she could not justify anything that she was saying here. I, I ended the call. That was weird. That was weird? Nothing about that was weird. You got called out for a claim that you made that you have since backtracked and moved the goalpost to be something completely different. And now you're justifying it by making up private conversations that we supposedly had. You know, you could at least give me the courtesy of getting one of your friends to make a fake account that you claim is me and have a, convers a fake conversation with them about Stalin and fudge the dates a little bit. At least put some effort into your lies, please. This is fucking unhinged like what's wrong with you for someone who constantly attacks others with ableism who constantly attacks others for innate traits who belittles others for having disabilities for supposedly having mental health issues that that, that you have the audacity to act like this to act like a, like a straight up gaslighting abuser who claims that someone is your friend when they've never been your friend while straight up lying about supposed private conversations that you've had with them which we can scroll right through the chat logs, which I've just scrolled through to show that it's a lie. What a fucking liar. I have demonstrated Kefels in these couple of videos of the last few days to be the most pathetic liar imaginable. She deserves whatever shit she gets as a result of this. She brought this on herself.